Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, today in this uh, video, you know, some of you keep sending me those uh, videos about Zach and Ike, and you know, all those things we answer them, and they are very stupid and very silly. And this is my advice for everyone. First of all, uh, this is my advice for even Muslims. Zach and Ike is not a scholar. Zach and Ike is aftermarket scholar doing business. It's a lot of money. And he have no idea what he's talking about. Uh, what what Muslims like about him that uh, because he have a good memory, he memorize things, and that make them feel like, wow, this guy here remember every word. But that does not mean uh, you are a person who know. This is remind me of the Muslims. One day I was saying that uh, uh, you know the adha is 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 something you Muslims do after Ramadan and they do Adha after uh, 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 you know uh, the month of uh, the when they do commit Hajj or they do the Hajj uh, so the Muslim they said this is funny they know uh, the, the, the Adha is not after Ramadan what this guy is talking about but because they are idiots like their prophet Muslims are the last one who can answer your questions Everybody knows that you Muslims that if you search if we search in the Quran and etc You will never find this word Fatr exist. It's not even part of Islam. So where you come with this from? What Muslim they practice at the end of the month is Adha and this is something they practice in Ramadan and they practice after Hajj So sacrifice is a must here in this case uh, we will talk about different story because the question is different but you will see right away that this guy he is the same as those abdul most of them they they read and they learn about the religion from their daddy and their mommy they do not know better and he is no better than the rest of the abdul listen carefully for what he will say it's a person who asked him about a mistake or an error and uh, the indian guy who asked the question i believe he's an indian he is saying that the bible and the quran say the same about god creating day before the sun so let us see what what this conversation is about and almighty god created day and the night in the first day what he's quoting is the first book of the bible the book of genesis <laughs> chapter number one verse number three it says that almighty god created the day and the night and on the first day and further if you read in genesis chapter number one verse number 13 to 19 it says almighty god created the sun on the fourth day i'm giving the references also so doesn't this go against science i do agree with you it goes against science he agree that this is against science please take notes muslims christians everybody hindus buddhas everybody so this is against science first of all this guy is a big fat liar the bible doesn't say what he's saying let us go to the book of genesis and read together this is the book of Genesis in front of you. It says, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. So what God said, Let be there light. And light was. And this is a proof that the God of the Christian, not the God of Islam, if he say, Be is going to be. We challenge Muslim to show us one thing Allah he created by saying be, they cannot find anything. Because even Adam, he was created by stages, as even the Quran, how it presents the creation of Adam. However, not our topic. Then God saw light. Read with me, please. The light, that it was good, and God divided the night from darkness. Sorry, the light from darkness. And God called the light day. So, what is day in the Bible in the book of Genesis is not the 24 hours. It is light. Called light day. So what is the first thing God created? It was light. And what he called day? The light. So the term here day is not for uh, uh, an, an hour's as much it is for the term of speaking about the word light he didn't say he called the period of whatever it is day no he called light itself day 
So the Bible have different term of our use. They, in the book of Genesis, here in the beginning, about creation. This is not about normal day life for a human being yet. This is about creation. So God called light day and called darkness night. Now, this idiot, he said another lie that God in the Bible, he says he created day and night. This is absolutely false. Night does not need to be created. This is why you read the book of Genesis, all of it, you will never see God created night. For it's going to be a mistake to say such a, such a thing because the, uh, the night is nothing but the absence of light. You do not need to create darkness. It's, it's there. So you will see here, it doesn't say that God created darkness. And Mr. Uh, uh, Zachary Naik is a big fat liar when he said, the Bible says God created day and night. Where it says that? Where do you get this from? It is nothing but a fabrication of this man who have no dignity. Let us play his voice again and show you how he lie. To 19, it says, Almighty God created the sun on the fourth day. I'm giving the reference to also. <laughs> so doesn't this go against science? It says that Almighty God created the day and the night and on the first day. Where it says, where it says, created the day and the night and the first day. Where do you get this from? Well, are you are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> anyway now the important for me he agreed that this is against science especially when it's come to creating the sun the sun created when listen carefully and further if you read in genesis chapter number one verse number 13 to 19 it says almighty god created the sun on the fourth day i'm giving you the ref so god created the sun in the fourth day take note please and he agree that this is against science. So doesn't this go against science? I do agree with you, it goes against science. He agree. So please, please, everybody take note. If we can prove that this is exist in the Quran, it is mean the Quran is a shish kebab book. He agreed. I'm not the one who's saying that. So now, before we go to the topic, which is the question is about it, let us go and see if the Quran speaking about the creation and the day and the night and the sun and when the sun it was created actually in this case here we have a we have a contradiction in the story in the quran but we will go directly to the verses speaking about that <clears throat> if we go to the quran we will find the following In chapter 41, verse number 11, chapter 41, verse number 11, actually, I advise you to read a few verses before and a few verses after because, you know, Muslim, they will say to you, you are misquoting, you are, you know, taking, taking it out of context. So, we will go to the Muslim translation, not my translation, remember, all right? So, here, you will see that Allah created the earth and the mountains and everything in earth, all right? says that you deny who created the earth in two days and it and etc 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 and then he created every substance at the top of the earth and then they say here moreover by the way it doesn't say that it says that and after that he went to the sky and it was a smoke so after the whole creation of the earth in islam the, the sky was nothing there. There's no stars. But he agreed that this is against science. For there's no way the sun is created in the fourth day. Here, the sun is created long after the fourth day. Let us count together. Two days to create the earth. And then four days to create everything in the top of the earth. The total is six days. Still, there's no sun. Still, there is no sun. Take a note, please. So, the earth and the substance created in 2 plus 4, that will make it 6. And by the way, this is a contradiction. The Muslim, they will say to you, oh, what the Quran here meant, that this is uh, 2 days is included in the, in the second 4. False. Because if this is true, then you do not need to say 4 days. You need to say 
and God created the substance and everything above it in two days. Because this verse is to describe the, 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 uh, the creation of the, the substance and everything in the top of the earth. The earth already created in two days, and the second verse is creating everything in the top of the earth, including mountains. All right? So it's four days plus two, this is six, still there is no sun. Then, after that, here they say, moreover, if you change the translation, just to show you the Abdul translation, how the translation change, you know, you will see how the story change. You see how the story change? From moreover, here it says, then <coughs> turned he to the heaven. So then, then, which means after that, after that, he turned to heaven and it was a smoke. There is nothing there. There is no sky, there is no stars. There is nothing, and the sun is a star. And say to the to the earth and come to me, etc. And then he ordained them in seven heavens. Now he is creating the heaven, and inspire each heaven to mandate its its mandate, etc. And then after that, he created the stars. He decorated this, this, the, 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 the sky with the stars, which means, according to Islam, the last thing is created is the stars. And this is Quran. I'm not even quoting a hadith for Muslim to say this is a weak, this is a strong, you know, the, the games Muslims, they play. So as long as Zakir Naik, he admit that this is a mistake, so we finished with the first mistake. This is a mistake in the Quran, not in the Bible. For in the Bible, as we see, God created light. Light is already exist. And that will not change anything about the existence of sun or not, for the light is exist. God is providing light. And you will notice here the first thing God created before even creating anything is heaven. And then the earth. heaven and earth the bible does not say earth and heaven he put it in order so the first thing is to create is heaven and then the earth and the earth the way it was created it was covered by darkness so you see here he did not create darkness it was exist with darkness because simply you do not need to create darkness it's exist for darkness is nothing there's nothing it's called darkness by the way it's not something physical it's not something exist Darkness happens immediately when you take off away light. You do not need to create darkness. It exists everywhere. If we take the sun right now in the middle of the day, we, we avoid seeing the sun, we cover our window with a blanket, we have darkness. I do not need to create it. So what happened? Simply it is the absence of the light. So when God speaks about creating the sun, doesn't mean there's no light, for light is exist. For God, he created first thing, as we see here, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. So the creation in the, in the, in the book of Genesis is very accurate, which means light is exist. It doesn't say what kind of form of light it is. It says light, and this is the important. Light is exist. And then the creation of man and the substance and everything in the top of the earth happened. The trees did not come before the light as in Islam. In Islam, as we showed you, there is no light at all. The sky is empty. There is no lamps. After six days of a creation, and by the way, days in Islam, creation is not a day. It's not a day. What they mean when Allah He says in in two days, and then Allah He says in four days, and then Allah He says in two days for heaven, are they those normal days or not? The Muslim they will say to you, no, they are not normal days. I say they are wrong and they are right. They are not normal day according to the Quran. Why? Because the Quran says one day for Allah is equal to 1,000 years. So it should not be 24 hours. 
However, the prophet of the Abdul, because he is a scammer, he cannot maintain his words. He don't match what he say in the Quran. He say the opposite in the Hadith. If we go to the Hadith, we will find the following. Allah, the exalted, etc., created the clay on Saturday and created, count with me please. I made a video about this before, but people don't have memory and lazy. Uh, so created the clay in Saturday and then, this is Saturday, and then he created the mountains in Sunday and then he created the trees on Monday. All right. And then he created the entire in labor in Tuesday. And he created the light in Wednesday. But this Abdul, Zakir Naik, he said, if God of the Bible in Genesis said he created the light, which is the sun supposedly according to him, speaking about the sun here, uh, in Wednesday, this is against science. But this is what his prophet saying. In my book, it doesn't say God created light in Wednesday. He created the sun in the fourth day. And he is quoting the verse from the gospel, from the from the Old Testament. So the one who is saying that is Muhammad, and he's agreeing with it. So how it's it is wrong according to Zakir Naik, and how come it is correct according to Muhammad, and how come it is against science, but Muhammad he go with against science, approving what is written in the in the in the Old Testament? Because remember. The one who's saying Wednesday is Muhammad, not Zakir Naik. And I want to ask the Muslims, which one you take? The statement of Zakir Naik Abdul or the statement of Muhammad Abdul? You have two Abdul, you have to choose one of them. You have a big Abdul, a small Abdul, which one? So either you say your prophet Muhammad is an idiot, he do not know what he's talking about, and Zakir Naik is a smart one. Or you say the smart one is Muhammad and the idiot is Zakir Naik. I will leave that choice for you. Now, the important for us here, actually, if you focus with me in this hadith, just to show you that Muhammad cannot be trusted as a man. Because here, and according to the Quran, Allah created the, day, the, 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 the earth in six, in six days, right? And then the heavens in two days, that will make them eight. However, there's other verses in the Quran saying Allah created the day, sorry, the, 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 the heaven and the earth, a total of six days. But if you count with me here how many days Muhammad is counting to create, you will see it doesn't match. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, then Tuesday, then Wednesday, then Thursday, and then Friday. Hold on. Those are not six days. Those are seven days. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. So according to Muhammad interpretation and explanation, Allah created the earth and the heaven in seven days. And that confirm that when Allah he says that he created the earth and whatever in the top of it in two days plus four, that will make it six. And then he created whatever in the heaven and the day number seven and eight but here muhammad he stopped with the number seven so who is the one is coming with the form of a day before the light is created that is islam who is the one who agree with the book of genesis that the sky sorry that the, the sun is created in the fourth day that is muhammad and who is the one don't agree with it? That is Zakir Naik. So who is the idiot? I will make another video to show you the other mistake he, he did. Please download the video. You can post it in your, in your page for free to do so. And uh, for those who they are seeking reference for this hadith, uh, here we go. The reference in the front of your eyes for the free to read it. And this is how we expose the liars like Zakir Naik and the Abdul who follow blindly a blind man with my respect to blind people because the blind people are not the one who don't have eyes this is what not what we are talking about blind people is those who follow an ignorant and they think he is a teacher
Christ is Lord, and Zach and Naik expose his religion by agreeing that creating the sun in the day of Wednesday, as he said, the fourth day, is a big scientific mistake. So how he can refute this problem now? God bless. And don't forget, if you want to learn about errors and mistakes in the science of the Quran, feel free to read my book, Quran and Science in Depth, which can give you a great education and you will laugh a lot. It's a very funny book because it shows you that what is called scientific miracle by Muslims is nothing but a fairy tale and it's very funny and not not only that it's a big error against science read it you can get my books from amazon.com you can go there and search for christian prince in amazon.com or amazon france or amazon in england doesn't matter and you can uh, order any of my books uh, we have three of them the deception of allah and quran and science in depth and the french one the secret du prophet arab and soon we will have the first part of the deception of Allah in Germany, in German language, is going to be published. God bless. Thank you, and see you soon.